Hi everyone. Okay, so this is the chapter four redox um, half reaction that we are going to balance. And this one is the one that you're supposed to finish up for homework that is on your help sheet. And this is um, an example of one in a basic solution. So anytime you are balancing these half reactions, the first step is to assign your oxidation numbers. So if you assigned your oxidation numbers correctly, you should have gotten plus six here, over here. Then we know oxygen is minus two. And then we go to the next one. This nitrogen is plus two. This oxygen is minus two. And then this chromium already has the charge on it. So then that is its oxidation number. And then we go to the next one. This nitrogen ends up being plus five. And then we know that oxygen is minus two. Okay, so that's the first step. Then we are going to separate the um, half reactions. We're gonna write down one oxidation and one reduction. So then one of the half reactions becomes Cr2O7, right? And then I'm just going to write down the oxidation state for the chromium because the chromium is the one that is changing number, all right? And then that goes to chromium, and that chromium has the plus 3 already. All right, so that's one half reaction. And then the other half reaction has to deal with the nitrogen. So that's the NO, and that N is a plus 2. And that's the one that's changing number. Going to the NO3, and the nitrogen over here is plus 5. Okay? All right, so now we have our two half reactions. Um, now let's balance it according to all of the rules. All right, so the first step is we need to balance all other elements that are not hydrogen or oxygen, all right? We always do the hydrogens and oxygens last. So we have two chromiums over here and only one chromium on this side. So then therefore, we need to put a coefficient two in front so that we have two chromiums on each side, okay? Then what we're going to do is balance out the oxygens using water. So if we have seven oxygens over here, then that means we need seven waters on the other side. So I'm going to add seven waters. Once you add the seven waters, then you can see that makes our H's 14 over here. So then we add those H's to the other side to balance it out. So then we're going to add 14 H pluses over here. Oops. Okay. And then once we've done all that, now we have to balance out the electrons. So on this particular one, this is why it's tricky. It's tricky because when we balanced out the chromiums, right, because there's two here, and then therefore we have two on this side, so when we balanced out the chromiums, we doubled, we have twice as many chromiums, right? So that means it doubles the number of electrons that are being transferred. So then the biggest mistake would be, oh, you're just looking at the oxidation state, oh, plus six to plus three, so that's only three electrons. But don't forget, there are two chromiums on each side, so therefore everything gets doubled, okay? So then this is like having 12 over here, and six over there. So it's going from a 12 down to a six. So that's a difference of six electrons. So then therefore we're gonna add the six electrons on this side over here. So it's gonna slide this over a little bit. Okay. So what do we say, six electrons? All right, don't forget, if you forget what side the electron should go on, you can just look at it mathematically, right? So this ends up being plus 12 minus 6, so that equals overall plus 6, and it matches the plus 6 on that side, okay? 
Now let's do the nitrogen equation. So the nitrogens are already balanced, so that's good. Now we have to balance the oxygens. We have three oxygens over here and only one on this side. So that means we need two more oxygens on the left and we balance out the oxygens by adding water. So that means we need two waters. By adding in the two waters, that makes our H's four. So then we balance the other side over here with four H pluses. Okay? Now what we do is we balance the electrons. So this one is easier than the chromium because there's only one nitrogen on each side. So we could just look at the numbers. Plus two going up to a plus five. So that is a difference of three electrons, right? So that means we're going to put the three electrons, or three electrons are being lost, so those get put onto the product side, right? Once again, you could always do your math to make sure you put it on the correct side, right? Plus five, this is negative three, right? So five minus three equals plus two. Okay, once we have done that for each half reaction, then we have to make sure that the electrons are balanced. So we have six electrons over here and three electrons over there. So then we need to multiply the whole bottom equation by two so that our electrons can cross out. You always want your electrons to cross out, okay? Then we're gonna add both equations up together. Your electrons should always be able to cross out because that will end up being six. Then you're going to, um, add these equations up together, okay? All right, so here we go. All right, so let's see. Don't forget to multiply your coefficient through and whatever's on the left stays on the left. So we have 14 H pluses plus Cr2O7 and that has a negative two charge and then don't forget, we're going to multiply the 2 through here, so this ends up being 4 H2Os. And 2 NOs. Alright, then we go to the right side of the arrow. 2 CRs with a plus 3 charge. Let me slide this over, running out of room. Oops, wish this whole thing would move. I should group this together or something. Hold on. Okay, that's better, so let's continue. So then we end up with seven waters running out of space, but that's okay. All right, so let's just keep adding underneath here. Um, we're multiplying that two through. So then on this right side, we're also adding, let's see, two nitrates. And then that ends up being eight H pluses. Once again, remember we're multiplying that two through, right? There's coefficient two here. So two times the four makes that eight. And then Oh, I could erase that because we already balanced out the electrons, so let's undo that part. Okay, now as we take a look here, now we can reduce down like waters and H's, okay? So it's like subtraction. Whatever you have the same on the left and on the right-hand side, we can reduce down. So that means that these four waters over here, and then we have these seven waters on the right side so we can reduce those down we can get rid of all four of those so if we get rid of all four of those okay those go away then that means we are left with three waters right so we're left with three waters on that side then take a look at your H, H pluses 14 H pluses eight on this side so we can get rid of these eight and then that means we're gonna be left with six correct okay so then let's cross these out and then this gets reduced down over here to, uh, we said six H pluses. All right, now let's see, let's just double check. So we have our six H pluses, 
we have our chromate, we have our two NOs, right? We have those still. We still have two nitrates. All right, so, so far, I believe we are good so far. All right, let's see what we have left. Okay, and we still have those three waters. All right, now, okay, so that part is if it is in an acidic solution, but this problem is asking for you to balance it if it's in a basic solution. So remember, if it's in a basic solution, we have one extra step. For, ever, for every um, H+, plus, for every many H pluses we have, we're going to add that same amount of hydroxides to both sides of the equation. So since we are left with six H pluses here, that means we're going to add six hydroxides to both sides of the equation. All right, so let's do that. So then plus six hydroxides, OH minus, okay? We do that to both sides. So then plus six hydroxides, OH minus. Okay, so then that means that this here makes six waters, right? So if we make six waters there, then that means we can reduce our waters down because we had uh, three on the right, now we have six on the left, so that means we can get rid of all three of these waters completely, right? We're getting rid of all three of those waters, and then this gets reduced down, so it's like six minus three, so then we're left with three H2Os, okay? Whew. All right, so now I'm just going to cross these out because we um, made those into waters. Now let's just rewrite this nicely with what is left over, and then we're done, okay? So let's rewrite this nicely. So then we should end up having, let me scroll. All right, so if you were to rewrite this nicely, then you should end up with a pen option. All right, so three H2Os plus Cr2O7 plus 2NO go to, and then I'm going to write the um, right hand side down here at the bottom. So you end up with two CRs with a plus three, two nitrates, and six hydroxides. Okay, and that's it. So I know it was like a lot of bookkeeping and everything. But um, once you keep track of everything, it's not that bad. It, it, it does take a lot of practice, all right? So if you have any questions, make sure you ask in class. All right, see you later. Bye.